Welcome to Weld.com. I have one of my current students with me, Mr. Cody Dennis. We're cracking open a, a new machine here. We've shot a lot of videos on the ESOB Rebel 215. Now we have Big Brother here, so we're gonna fire up here and, and uh, get to know this machine as well. I, I ran it a little bit out in Las Vegas at the Fabtech show and I was really excited. <clears throat> I expect it to be um, as smooth I mean, again, I was real impressed with the 215. This machine here is bigger. It will facilitate a full roll of, of gas metal arc welding wire. Stick, MIG, TIG, DC. Uh, we've got some capabilities here to do some cool stuff. Got advanced features inside for arc force, uh, inductance, all everything for wire feed. We've got smart MIG on here that we're going to try out and do some videos with. So again, we're just cracking this open and I have a pair of your half inch plates here and I think I just want to throw down on some stick. First off, 530 seconds, 6010. About what amperage you think we ought to start at? 115. About 115 about eighth inch gap, little loose eighth inch something. I want to drive this in here. I want to play around and just cram this in here to see what this thing's going to do. Um, we may have to do a couple of different test runs with it, but um, what do you think? Rake it in there downhill to start with? Yeah. Do a downhill hop pass, switch over to a 3 16 80 10, probably finish it off with some 532. We're going to kind of play around with some amperages here. Um, I'm really kind of curious to get this thing up and running on all the different processes. Anyway, we want to play around with this. We ran this in about all the different uh, scenarios that we could to get to know the machine. Now we get to fire up on this little rascal here and kind of excited about getting it going. I'm going to get dressed. I'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm getting ready to put a root in this, this half inch plate. Yes, I do have them lean back just a little bit for the viewing camera audience here so you can see. Uh, it, it wouldn't matter if we had them straight up and down. They're going to weld the same. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do 120 amps on a 532nd 6010. I just want to kind of strike an arc and get used to this thing. I'm going to try to drive this downhill route in here. First thing I noticed is a little more of an ergonomic design on the, on the uh, electrode holder. So I'm going to strike an arc up here at the top, let the rod get going, stabilize. And I'm going to set it down in there and grind and go, see if we can't get a good root in here. Now the first thing I notice is I'm pushing on this pretty hard. It looks like it's getting in there, although I do like to run mine a little hotter. I've, I have a keyhole around the edge of the rod. I see that it's filling above the rod. I don't know if you can pick that up in the audio or not, but I've got a fan on demand that's running continuously in the background. That felt pretty good. Again, you know, the more we run with this, <clears throat> the more fine adjustments and fine tuning we could get. I had a 332nd root opening, about a 332nd uh, root face on here. So, Right there is where it kind of shot to one side, but you know, give me the half inch on either side. If I was doing this, we could do runoff tabs. Uphill, downhill, doesn't matter. Again, just trying to run some rods, get used to this machine. Let me go buff this out, we'll run a hot pass. Be right back. So I ran a route in here at 120 amps, which <clears throat> it was okay, but I think I want to run hotter. 530 seconds, 6010. I looked at the backside, to me, it, it was okay, but I think I do want to run it quite a bit hotter. I don't want to do anything with the gap or the root face. I just want to run hotter. I'm going to do a, a hot pass downhill, and the reason for that is, to me, it's always been a good test of a machine, like the guts of a machine. Get in there and cram this thing deep and lift arc, see the arc features, the arc voltage and everything. So I'm going to, I'm going to be 
raking this in downhill. I flattened this out, but I do still have some wagon track in there. I'm not alarmed by it. Uh, I've done this many a times on piping in the field. Blow that stuff right out of there with a downhill hot pass. Uh, and we could be running uphill too, just a different amperage and different technique. Anyway, let's see what we got here. So you kind of notice I'm gouging this down in that root and then I'm lifting it up. Each time I lift it up, it blows the slag, flattens the weld pool. I'm kind of liking this machine already. I ran a hot pass in here with 532 second 6010 at 150 amps downhill just to gouge and just to feel what this machine was all about. Again, that's the first time for me to run it. I like it already. I have switched this over. I stated 150 amps. I'm using a 532 second 7018 and I want to run a fill pass again just to look for arc features. I have switched this over inside the machine from the 6010 electrodes to the 7018. So again, I believe this was the test position that we did some coupons in. I just, you know, I'm just doing a fill pass. I'll probably, I'll probably do an uphill cap here. We'll, we'll see. Again, we're just playing around looking for arc features in this machine. I can tell you right off, this is super smooth. Super smooth. I think people are going to really like this machine. I'm holding the rod way down in the groove, barely touching the parent metal. And I have it leaned back about 30 degrees or so just to push my slag back away from this pool. Well, pool. I don't want any slag to jump out in front of my rod. very little slide, uh, side to side motion here just to kind of make it crawl up on the bevel face and lay flat all good things Ran the entire rod very consistently. Let me go hit this with a wire wheel. Be right back. Okay, we started out with a half inch thick plate, uh, 30 degree bevels, and we put a root in with 532nd 6010. We did a hot pass at 150 amps with 532 6010. I did a, a fill pass with 532 7018 at 150 just to kind of get the feel of of what's going on with the machine here. So far, everything's kind of running smooth. I'm gonna do this last pass with eighth inch 7018, and I've turned it down to 100. I haven't changed anything else. And so, you know, our attempt is we just wanna get a nice cover pass on here. I'm running it a little lower than I normally do because I'm looking for something here. And I'll explain that when I get to welding. Okay, the reason I'm running 100 amps is I'm actually down here on the lower end for a reason. Because I want to test to see if this machine is going to kind of stay in here. And the other reason is my plates are preheated. And I set a machine by the weld pool. I don't necessarily set it. You'll have some keyboard inspector come on here and say that I'm way too cold and I need to be running 125. 
Now, that same keyboard inspector does not know how hot my plates are. And I'm very comfortable with what's happening here because, as you'll notice, as I oscillate to the left side, the right side cools off slightly. And I want that. I'm trying to hold a short, steady arc. leading edge of the pool all the time weaving straight back and forth pretty much I'm not going up in big U's okay <clears throat> now somebody's asked me about slag peel and comments I've had some personal comments come to me and it's like how do you get slag peel uh, short steady arc not cramming this into the weld pool and I'm not holding a long arc and I'm, the travel speed is pretty consistent and any time you hit it right it should just come right off and peel away so you know again part of that is the quality of the rod uh, let me buff this off I don't want to look for some undercut here I'll be right back got a finished weld here for what we're testing out <clears throat> and uh, again we ran two different eighth inch rods uphill for a cap and we did bust this off here with a slag peel it came off in one piece it was a little out of shape I've got another one over here that was real consistent over here in any event no undercut my profile is within reason within the the limits and you know I'm real happy real happy with the features on this machine I think this is a great machine if you if you're looking for a machine that will do shop work. You can also take it out to the field. You can run this on 110 volt. You can run it on the 220 side. We're running on the 220 volt side right now. I could make this same weld on 115 volt, no problem. So again, we're, you know, we're just trying this thing out for the first time. We'll get to know the machine better and we'll start doing more videos on some weld applications a little more critical. So you know, again, I hope this helps out. Fantastic product. I think Esau hit a home run with this one here. It's a cool machine. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Make sure you subscribe to the videos. Thank you.